Hey everyone, this is Tan. I'm your customer success manager, and by now you're probably wondering, hey, how do I really implement my workflow? I know it can get really confusing, so really wanna hop into the simple things you can really do to really break down your workflow and really get productive with you and your team. Let's go ahead and hop into the platform. So let's hop into this platform, guys. So the first thing I wanna go over is a project tracking board. Now, a lot of you may be wondering, what is this board? And let's start with what it's not. It's not a low-level task board where you can implement weekly tasks or communicate to your team what they need to get done on a daily basis. So if you look at the stages of brainstorming, development, and launching the actual project or product, it doesn't include the steps it takes to get there. On the flip side, what this is for is high-level projects. So you and your other teammates, especially your team leads, can communicate high-level projects and what phase you're at. So think of this more of a dashboard for your team to communicate. So let's use this as an example. If you look at this board, this is our project tracking board. Let's assume that we're all a startup. We're looking to launch the web app, the mobile app, in the next couple of quarters. And we have a handful of things to do, right? We need to develop this on Sketch to get the prototype and all, have our developers build it out, have our marketing team and our customer success team reach out to our customers and get feedback. It takes a couple of steps, right? The good news about this is you have your person column and you have your team leads. So let's say right here, I am the head designer. I can indicate to my team, hey, are we done with brainstorming, development, launch? And you notice how there's a project tag right here, so I can easily search everything for the specific type of project across all boards by typing in web app and seeing how this low-level uh, task in the weekly board associates with the high-level pulse. And the good news is I can give weekly updates, right? I can click here, at mention everyone in, on this team across various teams. I can say, hey, everyone, we just launched our prototype. Attached to this uh, update is a copy of the sketch file. I would love some feedback on our design language and how customers will interact with them. And the good news is you're integrated with Google Drive, Dropbox, and of course you can upload uh, files from your computer. Let's go ahead and just click on downloads down here. And then we can click on one of our files. So in this case, your plan. Let's click on end screens right here. Hit next, hit update. You notice how the file's up here, everyone can see it and everyone's gonna get an update. So there you have it. This is a project tracking board. The next question you're probably wondering about is how do I actually have a board to implement specific tasks for my team? And then in the next section, we're gonna tackle that and go over the specific steps you can actually do it. So going from the project tracking board, the next step is to really tackle weekly tasks as a team. And you notice on the left-hand side, we have the project tracking board giving you a quick overview of different teams from designers, developers, to marketers, and then you have different boards for each team. Now let's hop into design team. You're gonna notice right here, this is the weekly team board. And essentially it's a weekly task board. It's broken down to specific parts. Now what this board is for is to give tangible concrete tasks related to the actual outcome of our goals. So we have all our goals in our project tracking board, which is nice. At the same time, we need a board to execute this on. So we have this weekly task board. You notice how it's broken down to this week, next week, and then a backlog of important items to do. And I want to break this down so we can actually tackle this. So as a design team, we want to brainstorm together, right? Come up with important ideas and categorize what's the priority of this. So creating a design guideline is very important. We want to move it to this week. So this week represents the most urgent and important ones. And again, this could be possibly this month or this quarter if your project spans across a longer period of time. And the good news about this is you can see on a high level what you need to accomplish this week. And then for medium priority, you can move it to next week, which are important tasks, but not urgent quite yet. And the good news about this is as a team, you can click on, let's say, create the designs for a mobile app. You can literally have a checklist, right? Hey team, uh, working on our mobile app layout. What would you say is the most important feature? 
And then let's actually use a checklist to see what our team leads have to say. Search everything, view all their content, publish their content. So we want to see which one's the most important one, right? And obviously, a lot of people like to search everything, for example. And you can see who viewed it. And that's how you can communicate. And then essentially, market has done as far as creating our mobile uh, app. As far as the designs, we can move it down to complete a task. So it's kind of like a workflow, right? From the most important things that we need to catalog and do. And we want to categorize it to this week's work, which represents the most urgent and important ones. And the next part is to categorize it for important items, but not urgent yet, which is for next week or next quarter. And then we get to see the list of completed tasks we get to do. Now, you might be wondering, these are weekly tasks. How do I really check up on if it's related to the project tracking board? You notice right here, there's a text column right here where we basically use it as a tag column. And you notice how we're building both a web app first and foremost, and then the mobile app. If you go on to search everything, this is one of my favorite features because Basically, you're using this platform as a second brain to really search for information when you need it and what you need at any given point in time. In this case, we want to see all projects related to web app. Let's hit Enter. You notice right here, you have all the design team weekly tasks related to the high-level projects. So let's assume that we're done with all of this. We get to mark brainstorming, developing, and launch done as well. And that's the beauty of the weekly task board. You're given the ability to really tackle low-level tasks, but and at the same time through the search feature, connect it to the high-level projects. And there you have it. Now we just went over both two types of boards. We have the project tracking board, which is for high-level projects and to track the process and manage a process of the outcomes. And on the flip side, we went over the weekly task boards for each team, and that's to track the specific tasks, so managing tasks related to the project and executing on tasks with a lot of subtasks, right? And that's a lot of tasks, but sometimes teams don't need that type of board. Sometimes if the team is smaller or if the project is smaller, you don't really need a bunch of subtasks. So if you look at this specific board right here, this is a project board. And in this case, let's say we just launch a new site for this upcoming project, we only need groups of pulses to represent each core project. So one core is the design part, one core is doing research and development with our customers, and the third part is marketing, right? Understanding how to get the name of the new site out to our customers so they know who we are and what we do and why we do it, most importantly. Now, this is a great board because it doesn't involve a lot of subtask. So right here, let's say similar to our other ones, our sketch prototype, it's similar, but let's say the project's smaller. All we need to do is just write an update. Hey, I completed the sketch uh, prototype. Let's start developing development and researching this feature with our customers. And then maybe I can hit add from computer. And I'll just, let's just add this one and then just add another GIF just to signify that we're getting things done. And then we can do a checklist. Um, next steps. Launch prototype, get customer feedback. Hit update. And then once that's up, our team can see this start checking off the specific task, and you notice how you go to the next project, and we can work and collaborate together by adding me as the person column. So the good news about this is once you click on, for example, let's use a timeline feature, you can see how all the mini tasks that you know are smaller within the project relate in the timeline view. And the good news about this is you can see what I'm working on, what Matt is working on, what Zanetta is working on. So. This board is great for projects that are smaller or teams that are smaller. So that way, everything is on one board. Each group can be communicated as a project, and each pulse can be communicated as a specific task. And in this case, we're launching a new site, and we can see what I need to do as a designer, what Zanetta is doing as a research and developer, and then what Matt is doing as a marketer. And this is great for really tackling many projects or teams that are small, let's say a pilot program like this.
Now let's say you work on a solo project. Sometimes you don't need to communicate amongst many different members. Now in this situation, we have our social media calendar. And let's say if I'm one of the content writers, all I need to do is have a board to manage my own specific task and to really see it on both a high level and low level, but also not make it complicated or complex so I can tackle my projects easily. So the good news about this is I can actually put this on a timeline scale, right? And what I mean by that is I can have a group of pulses that have upcoming ideas. Let's say if I'm doing research on what type of ice cream are you. So personalizing what kind of ice cream you are based on what you like to do. So I can, let's say, let's assume that this month I'm a very productive employee and I finish all of my writings, right? And I got it published and everyone likes it. I can start working on new ones. So I can start dragging it to this month. And the good news about this is I can use my status column to indicate, hey, am I working on this or am I done, right? So I can move on to the next task. Additionally, I'm relying on the date column and then the category to see what kind of writing am I doing most often. And the good news about that is I can start planning next month and seeing if my idea gets accepted or rejected from our team, because sometimes not all my ideas are great, but sometimes they work. So the good news about this is sometimes you work alone, and all you need to do is just manage a bunch of your different tasks. Now think about, think about this as augmented memory. You need a place to store all your thoughts, organize them in a way where you can actually prioritize what's the most important thing I need to do each month or each day, and then see how my work stacks up against each other. And the good news about this is I can take advantage of the typical things like tagging another manager, for example, let's say Jessica, can I get feedback on my work, right? And even though this is a solo board, I can also get feedback on what needs to get done. Um, should I change my header? How is my intro sentence? And then let me know your thoughts. So there you have it. We went over a few different boards. The first two is the project tracking board right here, where you can track high level projects so you can communicate amongst many different teams. At the same time, you'll still need weekly task boards and tag it appropriately so you can manage tasks related to the projects. And then you can search it on the search everything bar to see how low level tasks relate with high level tasks. At the same time, sometimes your project is smaller or your team is smaller, so you only need one project board to really communicate amongst the different projects with low level tasks within them or sometimes you're just an individual contributor and then you just need to dump all of the information on your board so you can tackle it and prioritize it appropriately. I hope this helps. This is all about workflow. It's here to really save you time, give you back your attention so you can focus on the main things, which is your team or more fun projects. So I'll see you back on the platform.